So what's going on guys, DIY Dan here again, and this is another episode of Summer Addiction. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I do a lot of wakeboarding and wake surfing during the summer. So I don't know about you, but one of the most annoying things for me is after like your first jump, your bindings start loosening off your feet and you don't have that nice tight fit anymore, which can throw off your timing among other things when you're making your jumps and landings. So I ride a 2014 Ronix bandwagon board with Ronix district bindings. I got this set up new from Ski Pro in Phoenix, Arizona, but I think I got it around 2017 because they were a couple years old and that's why I got such a good deal. I only paid like 100 bucks for the board and another 150 or so for the bindings themselves. The original laces lasted me probably five years and then I ended up replacing the lace locks with these pieces of crap last season. Those stupid things started backing off on me as soon as I looked at them and thought about getting in the water. Now it might be a different story with thicker laces because the laces that came on these district bindings are pretty thin. However, I gave up on those almost immediately and I ended up going back on Amazon and purchasing a full lace and lock kit from Liquid Force for $35. So if the only thing that's wrong with your bindings is that they keep loosening up on you, this might be a cheap alternative to buying a new set of bindings. I love my setup. The bandwagon has a really aggressive rocker and I get a lot of pop. And for the most part, these first five years of these district bindings treated me really well and held me in nice and tight. It's only these last couple seasons that it's really started backing off on me and caused me a problem. So right here, I've got the old lace locks on the original district binding laces on my right foot. And I put a new set of those liquid force laces and locks on my left foot. I'm going to jump around a little bit and show you how much tighter the new laces and locks hold up versus the other lace locks with the original laces. Now, obviously this isn't very fair comparison because once you get these things wet, they're going to loosen up even more than what they are now, but it will give you some type of an idea as far as whether this might be an option for you to do on your board. And then as soon as this is over, I'm going to go over how I replace those laces and locks on one of my bindings and obviously you'll duplicate it for the other. So let's get to it. So right here you can see how much I tightened down my right boot again after jumping around a little bit with the original laces with those other style lace lock. And right here you can see that I really couldn't tighten down again with the new Liquid Force laces and locks. So here is a quick look side by side before and after of the Liquid Force new laces and locks. And here is the old laces with the other crap lace locks that I had. So for these Ronix District bindings, the pull handle for the laces had a little rubber cover that I had to just pry up carefully so I didn't break the little tabs on it. Once getting that off, I was able to access the knot. I ended up just cutting the laces right before the pull handle and then just pulling the knot out with a small screwdriver. Then went ahead and removed the lace lock and removed the old strings from the bindings. The new laces came with tape on the ends of each lace. Make sure you leave that on there because that helps you string that lace through the bindings. So on these Ronix District bindings, the lower lace was a lot longer than the upper lace. The Liquid Force laces were all the same length, but it was not a problem because they were plenty long enough for each location. Then I fed the laces through the lace locks. Make sure you check your orientation of the lace lock and make sure it's comfortable for you to operate it. When feeding the laces through the lace lock, you might need to use a pair of pliers or something to help pull the laces through that lock because it was a pretty tight fit. I recommend getting in your bindings and operating your lace locks to make sure they're comfortable in the position you have them. Sometimes having them upside down or a different direction is more comfortable. The last lace locks I had, I actually had the push button on the bottom of the lace lock and it was just easier for me to use that way even though it wasn't the way it was actually supposed to go. Once you're content with the way the lace locks are, then all you have to do is put your pull handle or your final retainer clip in place. Once again, leave that tape on the laces to help feed it through. Now this was a super tight fit because the lacings on these bindings were so much smaller than what these ones were, but I was able to pull them through. Then I just used an overhand knot to secure the two laces together. You'll also wanna figure out what length you wanna cut your laces at. I like to leave mine pretty long because it gives me more leverage to tighten them down, pulling up on them. Then I singed the ends of those laces so they hopefully will not fray and come apart at a later date, even though that's highly unlikely. Then went ahead and pulled that pull handle over the top of that. Now being as though this is the second time I've done lace locks, 
and reuse these pull handles. The rubbers didn't really hold themselves in anymore, so once putting them in place, I did use some gel super glue to hold the rubber cover to the actual pull handle itself. So because I super glued the pull handles, this will probably be the last time I'll be able to reuse those. So hopefully these laces and locks last me a long time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some good information. If so, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. The whole concept of my channel is to give you guys the most information in the least amount of time as possible so I don't waste your time. And I hope to see you next time. Later.